Hi everyone, uh, very good evening and welcome back to Geeks for Geeks practice. Please give me a plus one in the chat if my voice is clearly audible to everyone and everything is working fine. Then I'll share my screen and we'll discuss the problem as well. Hi Madhbar, very good evening and hi Rishit as well. So uh, today's problem is really interesting and again based on the post order concept that we have discussed. Okay, so guys make sure to hit the like button and then we'll get started with the problem as well. Okay. So let us quickly have a look at the problem. Okay, everything is fine. Okay, so Sachin, thanks a lot. Now let's discuss this problem. Uh, first of all, let me remove the code. Okay, so what does this problem say? The very first thing uh, that uh, this problem says is sub array in n array tree. Now, what is n n array tree? Just give me a second. Let me uh, improve this here. So, what is an n array tree? An array tree is kind of a tree which has multiple nodes, right? Which can have multiple nodes. For example, you can say that a tree is kind of an n array tree, right? So what you have to do in this particular problem is you will be given the root uh, of an n array tree, right? So n array tree, so a particular root has can, can any number of children, right? For example, one this node is having one child, then this node two is having three child. So a node can have uh, any number of children, right? Now you have to find the number of duplicate subtrees in the n array tree. So two trees are duplicate if they have the same structure and with the same node value, right? So if you will see here, right guys, if you will see here, so you can observe, uh, like you can observe one thing that uh, these people are saying the, in the explanation, suppose this, uh, this particular tree has been given to you. So you can see that there are two duplicate, uh, there are two duplicate uh, trees, right? Why? Because you can see that this four and this four is a, uh, like is a, is a subtree and uh, like they are hap they are occurring right they are uh, repeating so that is why you will consider that uh, as a repeating uh, repeating subtree and again you can see the one highlighted with uh, blue color that is 3 and 3 uh, that uh, they are again repeating so that is why you will count that as one so so again a repeating duplicate subtree so you have to count all such duplicate subtrees and you have to return that counter is this part clear to everyone please write yes or plus one in the chat if this part is clear to everyone and in the second uh, tree, you can see that there is no subtree, which is following this particular property. Is this part clear to everyone? Right, guys, please write uh, yes in the chat or plus one in the chat. Okay. All right. So this much part is, uh, I think, clear to everyone, right? Now, see, if uh, if I will think in the brute force fashion, right? If I'll think in the brute force fashion, so what I could have done is if I'm at a particular node, then I will iterate uh, throughout down that particular tree and I might store it in a string or something. And for like, see, if I'm generating all the subtrees, then for one uh, one node, I will take order of n time in the worst case. So for n nodes, if there are n nodes, so maybe I might take n square time, right? So that is uh, n square time. So how can I reduce, how can I optimize my code, right? If I, I have already told this thing a lot of times that whenever you want to optimize the time complexity of your code where, and you have to solve three problems and many of the times, whenever the time complexity comes out to be n square, then we can do what? We can do the post order traversal, right? Post order traversal. We can apply the post order traversal and using the post order traversal, what happens? First of all, uh, we, we will do what? We in the post order traversal, normally we do root, then we do the right child, okay, uh, left, sorry. In the post order traversal, we do the left child, then the right child, and then the root, okay? Then we process for the root. So here, what we will do is, uh, since there can be many children, so I will say that, okay, first of all, I'll process the children, and then I will process the root. Is this part clear to everyone? Please write CR in the chat, okay? Please write CR in the chat if this part is clear, right? So I'll apply the concept, the ideology of the post order traversal. That is nothing but left root, right in a normal binary tree. And here it will be the children comma the root. Is this part clear to everyone? Yes or no? Whenever I'm talking about subtrees. So if I have to optimize the problem, so I can uh, apply, insist uh, or I can think of applying the post order traversal approach, right? So that is one thing. Now, after that, uh, yeah, this much part is clear. So this is what I can do. Now, one more thing is there, right? One more thing is there that I want to uh, make you understand. So I have to store it, right? Because I have to uh, check whether that something occurs more than one time or not. Okay. So I have to check how many times a particular thing is occurring. So can I say that I will use hashing also? Please write yes in the chat. Okay. I have to use the concept of hashing also because I have to store uh, subtrees, right? I have to store the 
structure of the subtree. So in that case, I since I have to store, so I have to use the map or similar kind of data structures in other languages, right? This is another thing. So that is why I need to use a map. Okay, this part is also clear. Now another thing is that how should I store? Because suppose, guys, suppose this thing. Suppose that uh, if I have something like this, okay, if I have something like this, let's say if this is uh, something like uh, let's say if I'll use five here, okay, and then I'll use uh, five and then I'll use five okay uh, if if let's say this is one subtree let's say if I'll uh, take this as six okay and then they then suppose there is one subtree like this and then suppose there is another subtree which is like six okay then let's say you have uh, uh, let's say you have six here and then you have something like uh, five here okay and suppose uh, I should not take five let me take uh, fifth I should take 51 here okay let me take this as 51 right then you will understand. Uh, I am taking very uh, repeating value, so I do, uh, I can take let's say 72. Okay. Then what I will do is if I take this subtree as let's say something like uh, seven, and then I take this as 27. Right. So if you just keep on adding the strings, now then it will not be good because suppose suppose that first of all uh, you have uh, something right. So if you keep on adding normally, right. So, so first of all you'll go to add the left, then you'll add the right, and then you'll add the right part. Suppose you are adding it in a string. So you will have what seven to five and then six, right? If you are converting it into a string, so this is what st you will be having, right? And another thing is if you will see here also, like let's say if I talk about the subtree two. Right. So here also what I will have, I will have something like uh, this thing. Uh, again, I'll have seven, two, seven and six. Right. So in the, uh, sorry, seven, two, seven, I should have five here. Right. Uh, I should have five here. So now I will have what I will have seven. Then I have two, five and then I have six. Right. So you can see here that I'm iterating for this guy. Then I'm iterating for this guy and then I'm checking for this. Right. So you can see here, like if I don't, uh, if I don't take the proper care, then this is wrong now, because if I store this particular string in the map, okay, then I store this particular string in the map, then they will be counted as the same, right? They, they are looking like the same, but they are not same. They are not same. Agree with me. Please write yes in the chat. These two subtrees are not the same. Please write yes in the chat. Do you agree with me on this point, guys? Yes or no? That these two subtrees are not same. Agree on this part? Yes. Please write yes in the chat if you all agree with me on this part. Yes, guys. Agree with me? Right. So that is why what I should do is I should do something. Uh, I should hash it in such a way that I uh, I am uniquely able to uh, separate it. Right. So in that case, in that sense, I have to take care. Right. So what I can do here is. In this particular example, let's say if I have 72, so after uh, this, maybe I can add a hash or a dollar. Let's say if I'll add a dollar here, okay, because everyone loves dollar, uh, but maybe I can add a hash that will look much better, okay, uh, much cooler also, right? Then I will have a hash, then I will have five, and then I will have a hash, okay, then I'll have six, let's say, and then I'll have a hash, right? So this is the subtree one that I will store. And here, if you will see, so subtree two that I will look for, so it will be seven, then I will have hash. Then I will have two, then I'll have five, then I'll hash, have hash and then six. So that is how I can differentiate between the two because now these two subtrees will do look different. So is this part clear to everyone guys? Please write yes in the chat if everyone is clear with this part. Is everyone clear with this part? Please write yes in the chat guys and let me know then I can proceed further. Okay. So I hope that uh, this particular part is also pretty much clear to you, right? That while hashing also, I should always take care of such kind of scenarios. That is why you can add a question mark, you can add a hash or at or anything in between, right? So what will we do here? So first of all, what uh, like uh, I don't want uh, to declare a map uh, internally. So I'll declare a global map, let's say unordered, un o r d e r e d unordered and I'll have a map here and let's say it will store the string because in the format of strings only I can store then I will have int that is the frequency so I'll name it as map and then what I can say here is like I will call the recursion here right so let's say what I will do is I'll call the post order uh, post order traversal okay so in this case I will initially pass the root here and since I'm declaring a global map so always I can clear the map right uh, c l e a r so I'll always clear the map, right? And also I can have a counter. Let's say initially I can mark that counter as zero, right? And then we will do rest of the parts. Let, uh, let us first of all write a post order function, okay? So it will return the string, okay? So I'll write a string and then 
post and then order which is very long for me as of now okay so then i will pass this node star uh, root into it uh, right so i'll pass the root node initially now suppose it might happen that if the current root that i am at if it is equal to null so if it is null then i will simply return what i will simply return the null string okay so i'll return the empty string otherwise what i will do is i will uh, create a string so let's say i'll create a answer string initially as null and then what i will do is i will call for all the children so i will iterate for all the children so auto i is, uh, is to what i can say uh, root uh, child okay so i'll iterate for all the children uh, C -H -I -L -D -R -E -N, okay so the, this is already given so i'll iterate for all the children okay and i'll say that okay answer plus is equal to what post order of O R D R post order of the ith child. Okay, so I'll add all the children. Is that clear? Like, shall I name this as child? Let me name this as child. Okay, so I'll iterate for all the child for uh, all the children, right? And one by one for a particular child, I'll call the post order traversal. Okay, because I need a, a loop. Why can we uh, represent a tree in format of left subtree, root, right subtree? Yes, you uh, no. Uh, actually, the problem with that, uh, why the uh, problem is that uh, uh, we should do it using the post order. That is better, no? more optimal. So that is why representing left and then right and then root is better. And actually, it is n array subtree, so it will not be left root and right. Okay, you can have many, many. Uh, a particular node can have five, six, seven, eight, ten, ten children. There is no two child policy here. Okay, so that is what I will do. And then after that, answer plus is equal to what? I will say that, okay, I'll convert, uh, like I'll, since I have to convert the root data, okay? So I'll have the root data, so I cannot directly add in form of a string. So I can, I will add it like this. And also one more thing, while I'm adding these character, uh, these children, so I'll add them with a hash, let's say, okay? I can add them with anything, but here I'm using a hash. Although earlier when I had written the code, so I was using, I think, uh, something else, okay? So yeah, this is what I will do. And then what I can do is I'll, increment the frequency of this particular string inside the map and then i will simply return this particular string from here right and right after that what i need to do here is i need to check for the node uh, like i need to iterate for all the keys of the map so auto like i can iterate through the map so let's say auto i is to map so i'll iterate through the map and i will simply check that if it happens that there is any frequency that is greater than one okay so if there is a particular subtree that is having frequency more than one then i will simply see that okay it is a repeating one and i have to count it okay and in the end i can simply return the counter here is this much part clear to everyone yes or no please tell me guys is this part clear till now i hope that i have not missed anything let's see how it goes okay yeah it works fine on the samples i think let's try and submit this code also to check if it is working i hope it will work properly okay so yeah you can see that it gets accepted also right so is this part clear to everyone basically what i have done is again i'm explaining so i've declared a global map because i did not want it to pass although you can declare a map inside uh, the function also so i'm having the root uh, and always this will be returning a string that is the uh, first of all, it will be storing the children from left to right, and then uh, it will be storing the root node. So first of all, post order traversal is done. So uh, first of all, all the children uh, will be stored, and then the root node itself. And always, when I'm, whenever I am storing the root data, so since it is integer, so I want to convert it into string and then store. And then I'll add a hash after that for security purpose. Then I'll increase the frequency of the uh, subtree inside the map, okay? And I'll return the answer array. And after that, I'll check for, for all the subtrees. I'll check if there is any subtree which is having frequency more than one, then I'll do a count plus plus. And in the end, I'll just return the counter. Okay. So is this part clear? One doubt is post order traversal of an array tree unique? Uh, it is not always, no, it, it, I cannot say this. Like it is not unique. Uh, like uh, to be honest, it is not always unique. It depends on the question. It depends on the an array tree. Okay. Like we have two subtrees with same. So it totally depends. Okay. It totally depends on the scenarios. You cannot, uh, uh, you cannot generalize this thing. Okay. Like it can, an array tree can have any number of subtrees. Okay. So you are saying that post order traversal of an array tree is unique. If you will store it normally, then you can say it is unique. Yeah. If you, if you normally store it, then yeah. If using a hash, you will store it, then you can say it as unique. Otherwise, if you are trying to say something else, then it is not. But I cannot generalize it, but normally,
like this will store a unique uh, proposition as you can see here no? this will this is distinguished from this one by using hashes i'm distinguishing uh, so with since i'm using hashes so that is why it is unique okay otherwise it is not normal like you cannot say it as normal unique okay now what i will do is i'll just uh, give you the code part dfgid so is this problem clear to everyone guys please write yes in the chat tell, uh, and let me know if it is clear to everyone or not is it clear to everyone i hope that is the case right uh, again if you follow the problem of the day regularly then uh, this is uh, something that we do normally we have done it right i have told it to madbar in my classes also and uh, uh, other people also got uh, other people also have done it right so yeah uh, like in the few, uh, many of the days back we did a problem now in which we were using that post order traversal technique so again here also we have applied it okay so yeah uh, now let's do one thing uh, okay coming back to the screen so if you have understood everything madbar says got it great so madbar you can comment down after this session also that you have got it and you, uh, the problem is clear let's rishit and shreya everyone can comment okay so guys please hit the like button before i end this particular session because the problem was quite easy and i think a lot of people are coming late so please make sure to hit the like button if you are at attending the session a bit late okay so <laughs> a lot of people are coming late today uh, okay no worries so thanks a lot for joining for this particular session guys today's problem uh, i initially thought it was a medium problem but uh, it was an easy problem only okay so thank you for joining and make sure to solve the practice uh, problem of the day every day tomorrow i'll see you with another problem of the day till then good night take care and keep coding guys keep practicing and keep upskilling yourself thank you and have a nice day